Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to check out my website, which is rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for further information about any of my roulette tools that I've, you've seen me use on my channel. All I'm doing with my roulette tools is showing you how I like to play based on the tools that I'm using and how, you know, exactly what I'm doing with the tools. I'm just showing you how I like to play. They do cost to use the tools, so, you know, if you want to use them, they, they will cost to use them for 30 days access. There's six tools in total uh, you, you can pick from. And uh, make sure you check out my website. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That would be a great way of supporting my channel as well. Thank you very much. What am I going to do on this setup? So my last upload was uh, my balance finishing at 37.72. So I'm going to click on click to play. What I've done on the tool now is I've already activated the look for three or more connected numbers. I'm betting a maximum of nine numbers or a minimum of six. I've got that message popping up straight away. Normally you would see that message when you get to a value of 18 or unique numbers. I've now in, I've just jumped the gun a little bit and I've already shown you what I'm looking for. So it's up to you when you place the bets, etc. Um, on this setup, I'm just going to bet on zero for the time being. So I'm going to start out betting on zero, but I'm also going to input the history of numbers. Look, 26, 26, that's one of my numbers that I bet to repeat on, 26, 26. So it's already done that. So I'm going to input these numbers from the history anyway, while I'm here. May as well do that. 17, 16. And I'm looking for zero to hit, to build my balance a little bit, hopefully. 17 again, has been out three times in the history, I think, now. Something like that, yeah. 16, 17, 36, 25, just repeating the bet, uh, 30, uh, 13, 0, 13, 0, 17, 3, 17, done the 17, okay, so there's only 10 unique numbers here, uh, which is not a lot in the history of numbers, so, but, This could be good. Um, I'm going to keep betting on number zero to pop in. And if I see... When, I, when, I, when it's the time to strike, I'll let you know. Um, so, I mean, when I say strike, I mean look for bets to be placed using the race track. So at the minute on the tool, we're seeing 32 to 2 is not hit. That's like 4 neighbour, 19 neighbour. Uh, 8 through to 24 is not hit. That's 10 neighbour, 2 either side. And we've got a massive range from 33 to 7 that's not yet hit, based on my inputs when I started playing and putting the numbers from this tool into the uh, from the table. So into the tool, there's 21, that's a hit, another unique number. I'm going to keep repeating that bet on zero. Um, 13 dropped in, then the zero landed. So any numbers around that 13 that have already been out, like 36, 30, 13, if any of those numbers land, I'm gonna, you know, that's the time when I'm gonna double up on that that zero, or I'll double up on the zero when it gets to four more losses. I think that's this. This is the first of the four. Oh, see, it thought about it. Thirty-four. That's been out already. Uh, repeat the bet. So I'm actually gonna double up now because it thought about stopping on the zero. So that for me is like a, a clear indicator, even though this is like an air-powered table, and it's all manipulated and all already thought out where the bet's gonna, where the ball's gonna land. It's all predetermined. As soon as we all place our bets, it goes right. It can go here. It's gonna go there. It's all about redistribution of bets and values. That's all you're gonna get. That's what it's all about. Thirty-three. I'm gonna repeat the same bet, same stake. So twenty pence. I'm gonna try and get my balance above forty pounds. Um, if I hit on the zero, uh, then that's when I'm probably gonna start placing bets on the the race track, and I'm probably gonna to look to get my balance towards the fifty pounds. So I should get to about forty pounds plus if I hit on the zero, and then from then on I'll use the race track. And numbers that haven't yet hit in a range to build it up to 50. That's the plan. Zero. That's 26. I'm now going to cover 26 and zero because 26 likes to repeat. 
I'm going to put 30 pence on the 26. So any number that I like to repeat on uh, is number, well, three numbers, 26, 13, 11. I, I always put 30 pence on the, the 26, the 30, or the 11 to repeat. So I've got two numbers, 0 and 26. Let's see if it hits one of those. Hopefully it's going to do it. Be nice to see a repeater. No, nope, nowhere near. Number one, right, I could do my combo bet. One, four, seven, thirteen, thirty-six. But I'm just gonna do the twenty twenty pence on the zero for the time being. So the zero landed and it's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine misses. So I'm gonna bet on zero until it goes off screen in the history up here. So I've got one, two, three, four more bets to try and get the zero to land. And hopefully it'll do it. Any minute. This is looking like a 22. I was going to say it's looking like it could be the one. Uh, 22. So repeat the bet. Uh, what am I at now? 20 pence. I've got a 30 pence now. 30 pence. And I'll look at betting on... 10 neighbor, 15, 19, these reach this number here, that 30, 32 to 4, 10 neighbor, and probably one of these two, but I'm not sure which two, maybe 31. Thirteen, that's good. So 13 went to zero last time in the history. Let's just see if it does it again now. Because it's right at the very end here, and it might match what it's just done. The two end numbers it usually match the two end numbers again. The, oh, the beginning numbers, beginning and end normally last like match like thirteen, thirteen. So it might hit zero, zero. This is another thirty pence on that on that zero, and it's not cost me a lot of money. I started at thirty-seven, I'm down to thirty-five. Number one again, fantastic. Right. I am now going to start placing some bets after this bet. Uh, I'm going to put 40 pence. So this is my final bet for zero to land. If this does not land, then I'm going to look at placing bets on the racetrack in the areas that I haven't yet hit. Probably going to do, definitely going to do 32 to 4 and the 10, 10 neighbour. And I'm not too sure about the 29 or the 31. 25. Um... So let's just do the racetrack numbers. So 10, do the 20. Bets close. The 9. No more oh, I wanted to do the 4. So I've chosen my bet. It's um, 10 neighbour, 9 to 20, and 32, 15, and 19. I wanted to do the 4. I missed the 4. There's 31, that is a hit, straight away, boom, thank you. Back up to my starting amount, so I can get rid of that bet now. So, uh, I can do two either side of the 10, one either side of 15, hit the 4. Now I can do the 29. There we go. So, £1, 12 numbers covered. I've got 5 here, 10 neighbour. I've got 4 here, 32 to 4. And I've got 3 here, 29 neighbour. So 19, 15, 29, 10. 10. 8. I've got 8. That's a hit. That's 2 wins. And now I'm at £40, pounds, which is one of my targets. Now I'm going to do one number either side of 10, 29, 15, and cover the 4 as well. Here we go. So this is this is what I like about this setup. You're just filling in the, the pockets that haven't yet hit. And this tool is showing you what's not hit because it's crossed off all the numbers that have hit. Re revealing what's not yet hit. So I've not hit the 24 other. I've not covered the 24. I need to do the 24. So I'm on 10 neighbour, 29 neighbour, 15, 19, 4, 32. I want to do the 24. Five's a hit. Boom. I don't need to do the 24 now. That's another win. I want to get to £50 if I can. So I'm going to do 29. Um, 32. So now... My bet's reducing right down. I'm, I've got seven numbers. 32, 15, 19, 4, 29, 7 and 18. If this hits, this is going to be my last bet. 
because there's not much more I can bet on that's like three in a row or greater. So hopefully this is going to not hit for a few spins and I'll, I'll double up and then I'll get to my target by hitting on a double up. The 29, 15, 19. 35, that's another fresh number. Boom. So I'll repeat the bet twice at the same value and then if I miss I'll double up on the next bet and if I miss for two spins like that I'll just add 10 pence to each number every time I miss for two spins that's what I'm doing and hitting one of those and a double up will get me to my target of 50 pounds and I'll make another few quid basically so I started at 37 if I get to 47 it's a tenner profit looking for 29 or 32 15 19 and 4 11's, oh, that's one of my numbers that I bet on to repeat on. I'm going to repeat double up, but I'm also going to put 1, 2, 30 pence on that 11. Because 11 likes to repeat. That is one of the numbers that I love to bet on, to repeat on this table. 11, 30, 26. You'll hear me say it a lot. It's just a one bet deal list though. You jump if, it, if you see it drop in, you bet on it 30 pence, or whatever your value is. If you get your hit, fantastic. So... 11 to hit again would be nice. No. I'll take a 15 though, because that's a win. Boom. I'll oh, thank you. So 15's a win. And click that. So now I can do... Well, there's only one more bet to do, and that's 29 neighbour. So I've got 46.72. So what I'll do is I'll reset everything. Click menu, click to play. I'll input the numbers from this history now. So 33.26.1. 33, 26, 1, 22, 13. So the history now I'm, I'm inputting is most recent. What I'm doing in a minute. So we're going to see a slightly different set of numbers that haven't yet hit. That might have hit already earlier on. And from that information, um, we might be able to pick off some more numbers that might hit and get me to £50, which is my target on this session. £37 start. I'm going to try and get to 50 I've already made £9 at this point. Um, and I'm thinking of doing... I'm actually going to do two... Eighteen, twenty-eight, twelve, and I'm doing the seven, twenty-seven, six, seventeen. There we go. Thirteen numbers I've got. All the numbers that I've got, three or greater numbers that I haven't yet hit. So twenty-seven, six, thirty-four, seventeen, two, twenty-one, four, nineteen, twelve, twenty-eight, seven, twenty-nine, and eighteen. They're my numbers. <clears throat> Trying to get to fifty quid. 14 that is a miss but it's one of those numbers that hasn't yet hit because i'm doing 13 numbers i'm going to double up on this spin this is a two pound 60 pence bet it should i should probably do a flat rate for two spins and just double it up on my third but <clears throat> i think this is going to hit from the 14 i think it's going to be 12 28 19 or 4 i think i could be totally wrong 12 28 19 or 4 no, it's 14 again. That's a repeater. Nothing sweeter. And now I'm going to repeat the bet, but not increase the stake. So I want to see 28, 12, 4, 19. Any of those to hit. So this is where it could go wrong. It could go very wrong very fast because I've already doubled up, which is not a good idea. Should do the flat rate for two spins, then a double up on this amount of numbers. I know that already, and I've already gone. I've already changed the rules. So I'm on 18 to 12, 19 to 2, and 17 to 27. Number two is a hit. Boom. Thank you. That's a win. Now I'm at 47. So I can reduce this down now. So I've got just the three numbers there. I've got the 27, 17, and I've got the 12, 28, uh, 18. Oops. I don't know what I've got there. I don't have the 18, I don't think. I've not got the 18. If this is a hit, it's a stop anyway. 
Zero, right. Zero. I've got to cover zero because that's just landed. So we'll cover that in case it repeats. Would it be 18 this time? 28 and 12. 19. Not the 19. 4. 27. 17. There we go. 13 numbers. I'm doing the zero for a repeater. And I've got 12 to 18, 4 neighbor, and 27 to 17. And I would expect to hit again very, very soon, if not almost straight away. 23. That's a fresh number. That's good news. Uh, fresh numbers bring out other fresh numbers, and that's where you can make your money. Second bet at a flat rate. So if I don't win on this spin, I'll be doubling up on the next spin. I want that zero to pop in again because zero likes to bring in another zero within about five to seven spins quite often you'll see that happen i did a video on that recently yesterday i did it so i'm on um 27 to 19 or 12 to 18. oh 27 25 that's a miss uh one off so now i'm going to double up here we go, £2.60. This is the bet you want to be hitting on. So let's just see where that 25 goes. I think the 25 is going to go to 17.34, those two. Or it's going to go to 21.4. 34.17, 21.4. Yeah, 21 That's my prediction. But I'll take any number that I've got a bet out there on. Number two, I don't have that, so it went right next door, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. but there you go, how it is. Two, I would say ten, because that's not yet hit, and it's right in the middle of numbers that have hit. So two ten is my combo, but I'm choosing to avoid it. So if I miss this spin, I'll be increasing each number by ten pence for two more spins. Looking to take a balance to £50, then I'll be stopping. So... Uh, let's see if we get a hit on this spin and it can reset the values. And there you go. Seven's good. That is a hit. Straight in the middle of them. Boom. So I can get rid of all those four, those numbers there. Now back up to that value. So I've got 27, 17, 4, uh, and the 0. Back down to 10 pence per number. So I've got 27, 6, 34, 17, 4 neighbor, and the 0. That's it eight numbers this is my kind of amount of numbers to bet on this is the prime amount nine eight or nine numbers is perfect eight we like number eight but we don't have it repeat the bet second bet this is so if this misses i double up on the next bet still looking for the zero to pop in Bets close. so my target is to get to fifty pounds. No Start with thirty-seven on this recording. And, uh, I've been on for eighteen minutes now, which is quite a long time now. So we need to start popping some numbers. Four. That's good. Six is a hit. Boom. Six. I think Six. I'm really close now. Forty-seven pounds. How many numbers have I kind of bet on? So I can't bet on any numbers now. Um, in using the tool because there's only one set of three Every, everywhere else is either one number on its own or two together so i'm going to click on that i'm just going to bet on zero now so i'm waiting for that zero to pop in to get me over the uh the value so i'm going to get rid of the tool off screen for the time being so you can see i'm betting on zero only so zero to pop in to get me to my target there's number eight so I've got 10 pence on that zero. I will be increasing the bet on the zero. And we're just going to keep doing the zero until it hits from this point onwards because um, I've got a sneaky per, uh, suspicion and theory that this is going to land um, before it gets off screen on the history. So, let's see if I'm right. 34. So, it's filling in pockets around the 17 there, but then it's going to go to zero. This is what it's going to do. So, I've got another 
four spins, well, five spins until it goes off screen. And I'll, I'll go to 20 pence and then 30 pence. I'll go as high as 60 pence on the zero, if need be, but I'll increase the stake as um, I keep missing, uh, as and when. Number one again, one's a hottie, hot number, number one. So this, oops, this is a double up for me straight away, double up. So the reason why this is a double up is because of the one, all the low numbers, one, two, seven, eight, six. I mean, you're probably going to get another low number and zero is the lowest of the low. <coughs> so that's why I've doubled up here, because it could be another low number, which could bring in that zero. And that's my focus anyway, so it's neighbor of. Uh, so repeat the bet. So if I get a hit at 20 pence, you know, 10 pence gives me 360, so I get 720. Which will get me over my target anyway. So there's really no need to go at 20 pence. I can still play at 10 pence. Still achieve my target of 50 quid. If it hits. So, you know. Oh, hello. 26. I'm I'm betting that number as well. Place your bets. So that's 20 pence. 1, 2, 3. I'm doing 30 pence on the 26 to repeat. This is what I do. If it's 30, 11 or 26, I do 30 pence minimum on that number no more to repeat. Please. So hitting either of these numbers, 26 or 0, is going to get me to my target and that will be a stop. Seven. Seven. Right. We're going to do one, two, 20 pence. Still at 20 pence on the zero. And the zero is in the end position in the history of numbers in the top right corner there. The end position. So it might pop in in the first position now. You'll see that happen a lot as well. So I'm going to give it an extra five spins outside of it going off the uh, history. Could it be this one? No, not quite. Uh, repeat the bet. That's three pounds. Summer. Give it another ten pence. That's thirty pence. So I'm gonna play at thirty pence now for um five spins. I think I was gonna go to sixty pence maximum, but now it's gone off screen. I'm kind of not too sure what it's gonna do. So. I would have thought we should have, we would have seen another zero pop in before now. Oh, this could be it. Number 19. Oh, I did see it land. Repeat the bet. Down at 45 now. 45 pounds, 72 pence. Although, when I say down, I started at 37. So, I mean, I've already met a tenner. I could have stopped at 47. That would have been a smart play. Stop at 47. But um, I'm going for the 50 so that's the issue here because I'm going for 50 and I could have stopped sooner it's clouding my judgment making me do silly bets like this Please place your bets. So repeat the bet 30 pence per number sorry 30 bet 30 bets pence close. for zero to land and I think this is now my third bet after it disappearing off screen Please. so See. Come on, zero. zero. There you go. Three. There's my zero. That was fantastic. So I've got fifty-six pounds twenty-two. You know what? I'm gonna put another ten pence on that. In fact, yeah, I'll put another ten pence in case it gives me a double up. Um, but yeah, there we go. So it did. It, it paid to keep on playing for a little bit longer. Within five spins, it came again after it went off screen. So happy days. And that seems to work really, really well with this evolution auto table. Zero, it likes to pop in again. So that'll do for me. Thank you very much. So I've now got a balance of fifty-six twelve.
don't forget to check out my website which is rouletteprofitandstock.co.uk and hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you like the content see you again soon